Right. Whoa. Hello, fellow guitar geeks. This is Jake from Jake Lee Guitar. Hello. This is the JA, which is the first two letters yes. of your name, 60 from Harley Benton, 25th anniversary in gold. You've got a JA60, right? You've got a JA60. I have. We've got a JA60. So we thought we'd make a video kind of comparing this one, which is higher end specs, to the ones we have. And the one that I have is from, I'm going to say, four and a half years ago. And the one that I have is the one that they just brought out recently. The yeah. New one. Yeah. So, oh, got a little electric shock or something off. There's a bite me in the leg. That'll, that'll teach me for wearing shorts in a video. Um, yeah, so this is the new one. Uh, it is, what are we talking different? We're, gold body, of course. Yep. Let's take a moment to appreciate it. I'll give it to you because we've got a better camera for the close-up shots over there, look. Gold body, slightly orangey taut pick guard. What do you think about that? I love it. Yep. You? I love it. Um, I think there's a few options that would have worked well on this. Yeah, um, such as? I think this is one of them. I think the black would have gone well. Damn fine. I think like a mint green. Yeah. Maybe even like a mint green pearl. Pearloids. Yes, that's pushing not, for me. Not, a, not like a bright white pearloid, yeah. like an aged kind right, of Right, okay, yeah. Let me throw this in there. Anodized gold. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, gold. Uh... Anodized silver? No, anodized gold, yeah. Anodized gold? Yeah. But that would have increased the price, right? Yeah. Uh, which means we don't actually know the price There's of this a, guitar. We've got a tone ant on this one. Tone ant? Yes. Tone ant, quick. Close up on the tone ant. Hopefully we'll find a tone uncle soon. Well, hey, <laughs> now we're off the races. Right, um, yeah, so keeping the price down by making out of this stuff, because an anodized gold will probably cost another 50 bucks. We don't this. know the price. Right, yeah, we don't know the price. I like the color of the knobs and the pickups. Sort of vintage off-white. Off -white. The pickups. Pickups. Are hotly contested uh, as in terms of what they are. Right. Are they actual Jazzmaster pickups? Right. Or are they just P90 style pickups in Jazzmaster casing? I know Ryan's sort of like trying to delve deep inside this and also Colin. As well. My um, guess, my totally uneducated guess, is that they are P90s in a Jazzmaster yeah. cover case thing. I think that's because I've got a Squire, a couple of Squires with that in, and I know that it's just, I don't know, I assume that it's cheaper to do yeah. it that way. Um, let me ask Tom from Elevated Jam Tracks. Do you reckon there's P90s in this or Jazzmaster pickups? Good talk. Good talk, wonderful. He doesn't speak, you don't see his face, he's back there. But he's continuing to swing, so. I felt the, the P90. I, from felt, him, yeah. I felt he thought it was P90 yeah. as well. What do you think it is? I think it's P90. Right. So we're, we're, everybody's agreeing, everybody's friends. What do you think? What do you think is the most sensible pickup to put in this, a P90 or a Jazzmaster? Also, I know that when Ryan was taking them apart, that the, in a traditional Jazzmaster, you have 1,000 meg mm -hmm. volume pots. These don't have that, these are the 250K. Right. So, even if, it, even if they Nancy. were Jazzmaster pickups, they probably wouldn't sound the same. Tone Ant. I also, it's, it's fairly noisy, right? Not in a, in a faulty way, but in a P90 way. Yeah, yeah. So P90s being single coils. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tone fly. <laughs> tone fly. They're all coming out. Um, I reckon it's P90, it's gotta be. What are we looking at on the old neck side of things? Dick? So we've got a flame maple roasted. It's gorgeous. Yeah. On. The it's flame cam. so beautiful. It's one of the best necks I've ever felt, looked at, and, and played. This is this is very you, isn't it? It's quite yeah. chunky. Yeah. Compared to the other ones we've been trying today, this is definitely much more chunky and not yeah. uncomfortable. No. Just reassuring. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So we've got locking tuners. We have. We've got locking tuners. We've got these wonderful um, modern string trees that are like the American Professional 2 from Fender. <clears throat> and we've got a tunematic style ridge. Master volume, master tone, three way, no special. Nothing, nothing going on, switchy switchy. Yeah. Uh, bolt on next. Back, bolt on. Uh, nothing to distinguish this from others apart from the fact that it says. Harley Bent on the front, it says Harley Benton 25th <coughs> anniversary, which means they've been making guitars for what? 25 years? Do you reckon? I reckon, probably. Yeah. Let's get some tones before that camera battery runs out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. What do you want? Uh, I'll just go with that.
I really like that. That's the first time I managed to sit with it and listen to someone playing it. That bridge sounds beautiful. Mm. We just uh, took a look at the Amarok 6, which was a great guitar, and you should watch that video. And watch, there's that P90. We appear, to, we appear to have a grounding issue. Um, and the bridge on that did not, did not. This is how Tom Morello tells me I need to play guitar. So is that a fault in the guitar? Or uh, I think so, yeah. It hasn't been uh, grounded properly. It's not been grounded properly. So we have a grounding issue. So regardless of everything else we say in this video, this guitar is not correctly grounded. However, people have been poking around inside it. So maybe one of us made a mistake. I blame Glenn Fricker. I blame Ryan Burke from 60 Cycle Hum. Science! Play whatever it was you were going to play before I rudely interrupted you. <laughs> <laughs> The option of we had the option of tuning before this video, but Andy decided against it. Um, what were the words? Good enough. For Good rock enough and, for rock and roll. Good enough for rock and roll. Is it not? It wasn't because I couldn't get the pod go working. It was definitely not definitely that. Definitely not that. Um, do you want to tune it while I, I talk a bit of stuff? Yeah. Let me plug you in. Guitar in, right? So what did I do wrong? I plugged the guitar. Anyway, um, watch it. Can you talk us through how that compares to your JA60? I mean, it's one or the other, it's all cartoon. Flipping neck. Right, I'll compare it already then. Um, I've, I think I've played it in the video, definitely played it. Oh! 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 <laughs> it, it broke when the wind took it. So, half the press. I just saved Jake's life from death from umbrella. <laughs> death by umbrella, there's a band name. I've got a new perspective on life now. How are you feeling, mate? Reinvigorated. And also, how does that compare to your JA60? Uh, well, to be honest, the JA60 that I've got, it's not the best Harley Benton that I've played, but for the price, it's the best Harley Benton that I've played. Right. Um, I was so blown away by the Harley, that, that, the JA60. Um, I just planned on buying it, reviewing it, and then getting rid of it, but it's probably a keeper. I'm gonna rip out all this, put a humbucker in, and turn it into a pop punk machine. Oh, I like yeah. it. What color have you got? Pink. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah so in Compared terms to. of uh, comparison, it is very similar. Yeah? Yeah. I know it's got the locking tuners I'd much prefer because it makes string changing so much quicker and easier, even though they haven't been. Well, they haven't. Yeah. I'll take someone's eye out. That was perfecto. Was it? Yeah. Practice should make perfecto. Clearly it doesn't. Sorry, perfecto, I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's, what's upgraded on this. It was obvious on the other guitars what had been upgraded. Right. I know the locking tuners have been yeah. upgraded. Definitely different string trees, surely. Yep. Because these look mm. special. They're sort of rounded. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, that's not, a, what, that's not a standard Harley Benton yeah. string tree. Maybe they're on your JA60. I mean, the, the, the nut looks a different colour. Right. So it could be, uh, could be a bone nut, maybe? I'm not sure. We don't, we, we don't have the we specs, don't know. so... We they're not released. We don't know. It feels very similar. Let's have a go. Keep talking, I'm just gonna just gonna hold it while you feels very similar what? To the JA60 that I've got. Right. The new one. You, so you have the JA60, the older one. Older one, which I which um, you may not know this about Harley Benton, but they don't always make exactly the same guitar next run. It's sometimes mm. slightly different. But they Some, still sell that model. They still sell that one. Yeah, and they, now they sell that one, the updated one, and, and then now this, this one. which possibly is and should be limited edition, yeah. right? 
Um, and the major differences between this and yours is flame maple neck, roasted flame maple neck, and locking tuners, right? Yeah. Is that the uh, mass biggest difference? Yeah, just that and the color. And the mm -hmm. color, of course. Um, but I want to do something with the Malay from Walrus Audio, just to see if it does a sort of shoegazy kind of thing. I definitely prefer the neck pickup in that bit. Yeah. When you were doing your bit, the bridge pickup sound is sweet. That, the neck pickup seemed, seemed a bit lackluster. Mm. Suddenly went, mm. Not to say that it's bad, but, but for that style, um, this high gain, uh, gain into reverb, the bridge pickup did not yeah. deliver as the neck pickup did. However, your GA60 cost how much? It was about. 150 pounds. pounds. So, uh, yeah, so 150 yeah. quid, under 200. I reckon they should price this at two, 200 quid or 225 euros, something, something like that. If it's yeah. any more than 300, I'd be very yeah. surprised. But I reckon that's going to, that uh, should be between two and 250 euros. What do you reckon? It's hard to say. It feels like it's more. It feels like it, yeah? it should be more than that. But because of the name on the headstock, yeah. that's what we expect it to be. But if this True. was any other guitar, True. and we were saying that this is... 399. Yeah. 399, if that was any other brand. Um, yeah, there's some tone blood on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you are at all interested in buying this 25th anniversary Harley Benton JA60, go and grab one now before they sell out. If you like slightly bigger necks that are, it's, it's a V kind of. It's kind of a V, so it's not massively chunky like a, a 50s telly, but there's a kind of soft V-ness to it uh, that I really, really like, um, which is very similar to the J60 I have, but that my J60 is slightly thicker. Um, I dig it. And if you're How any, do the pickups compare to yours? It's hard to tell because I'm not with them and I haven't played it for yeah. a long, long time. That is surprisingly bright and punchy uh, in, in the neck position just there, and it's a little bit lackluster in the bridge. If they keep this under 250 euros at around 200 quid, this is going to be a killer guitar for anyone who digs offsets. Yeah. Agreed? Completely. Now, end of the video, which means you've joined the end of the video club and approved the R a member of this prestigious elite. When you leave a comment down below telling Jake and I what you think of this JA60 25th anniversary edition, <gasps> please include the phrase Gold Jazz Masters Rule. Darn right. And also, while you're there, um, there'll be a link to his channel. Go and check that so you can actually hear the JA60 that we've been talking about, right? Yeah, it was one of the most recent videos that I've made. Cool. So, very fresh. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the sponsors that made this trip to this fabulous island possible are going to be on your screen. So, um, check those out. Send them love because if you enjoyed this content, it's thanks to them. Thank you for watching. Jake and I are out. I'm never going to get that back now. That was my flexion. Camera died, Jake nearly died. That was good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun.